Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working here, guys, on a Chevy Cruze. But what we'll be doing will apply to actually Chevy Sonic uh, because both of them share the same engine, guys. We'll show you uh, how to test your fuel pressure sensor and what is a normal fuel fuel pressure sensor pressure, guys. Okay, we're going to cover all that today. So if you have problems with your fuel system, car not starting, or you're wondering if you have a bad fuel pressure sensor. We'll show you how to test it and what the normal operating temperature should be on that uh, Chevy Cruze, Chevy Sony, guys. So, quick introduction, guys. We'll have more than 200 videos on uh, Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. This is, guys, because our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, guys, you'll find the information helpful. Let me show you now what we'll be doing, guys, and what we'll be using. Uh, it's definitely a tool that I would recommend, guys. Why? Because if you... Uh, if you own a car, a tool like that can pay itself off in just a couple times and uh, instead of going to the dealership guys. And this thing works on every car, not just on Chevy Cruze, Sonic or anything like that. It supports pretty much every car and there it is, updates all the time. So all you have to do, connect it to your OBD port. We'll have the link for that too in the description of the video below. And if you need any parts or tools guys or new pressure sensor, okay, we'll have the link and where you can get one from in the description of the video below so please check it out now right here guys i'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on not starting the car just turning the ignition on then the computer is going to fire up okay perfect and here check out all the makes and models that it supports it's simply amazing guys how many so we're going to select now General Motors. You can do VIN detection, it, it will automatically decode everything, but I want to show you if you need to do it manually, how you can do it as well. You select your ear, passenger car, Chevy, Cruze, or Sonic, whatever it is. We have the 1.8 engine, you may have the 1.4 or 1.6, 1.7 is diesel, and the 2.0 it's a diesel engine as well. 1.7 is diesel in Europe, I think, and Asia, and uh, 2.0 is the actually the American version. So we click other. It's loading now. We click vehicle pro uh, diagnostics right here, control unit, and now guys, check this thing out. We're going to select chassis control module right here. Okay, let me just go back one time. Check out all the computers that you can scan in your car. It's simply amazing, guys. You can scan, uh, read and delete codes from every computer in your car. We'll select live data. And now I want to show you here what we're going to get. We have, guys, it says fuel pressure sensor. And this right here now, guys, this is the, uh, this is the pressure in uh, KPAs. We'll have the conversion in a second, stay with us. This is the desired one, that's what the computer tries to adjust the fuel pressure to, this is the actual one. Uh, 400 PS uh, KPA, I think it's 58 PSI. This is the normal operating temperature. I'll start the car and check it out now guys, it just stays there. I'm going to rev the car up a little bit. And it's about 399 to 400 kPa desired pressure, which is about 58 psi. So that's how you guys test your fuel pressure sensor. Make sure it's working. That uh, digit right here, you can see how it's going between 390 and 410. Ours is perfect, right on the spot. And that tells you how fast your pump is spinning, fuel pump. Ours is at 50% load, 49, 50. It really depends. So. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure that one out. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you guys next time.